Hello everyone, Blaine Sarge here. Welcome back to some more Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, playing with the Skargrim mod. So in the last episode, or if you guys just want to get caught up with the series up to this point, there'll be a pop-up in the top right of your screen. Go check it out, that way you guys are fully up to date uh, what's been going on up to this point. So in the last episode, at the very end, we were able to unlock the Argapina sector. And within that sector, once we unlocked it, we were able to actually take the Argapina system and between the last episode and this episode, I was able to actually look and see what all this stuff does because I wanted to actually fully read what everything does and not do it on camera because it, it takes a lot of time. Anyway, once all this is fully upgraded, this system is going to be producing a lot of resources for our war effort. I'm so happy we caught this. Caught this. I'm so happy we're able to take this so quickly. And with the chaos only leaving a very small fleet in orbit to defend it, they were dumb. They were very, very dumb. So we took advantage of that. So uh, between the last episode and this episode, I did ask what new fleet you guys would like to see us bring in for the Adeptus Astartes. Now, yes, we will be bringing in the Salamanders. I, I was going to, but then I realized we still have a system up here that is going to be a problem. So... I thought the best solution is to uh, bleed out the enemy forces in there. And the only way to do that is you have to have a good defensive fleet. So we're going with Gothic Admets, or Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, Gothics. And, yeah, we're going to get these guys going. So they're going to move up here, and they're just going to sit on standby. And I'm hoping at least one of these fleets, if not two of these fleets, come out. And they start really you know taking a lot of losses that would be really nice um we'll see what happens but they are up there ready to go in case that happens this system for now is fully defended there's nothing to do about it um we should be okay until there's an invasion and at that point we could bring in the salamanders to jump in and try to hold the line do what we can damage wise but for now we're going to come over here and we are going to focus on the Agrippina sector i have a hard time actually saying that i have to say that's that one really slow so i'm just going to say this sector all right so we're going to focus on this sector for today's video and probably for the next couple of videos because this is going to be a lot of fighting uh, especially with the necrons Ooh, the necrons yes um we definitely need to clear out this so that way we get all of the bonuses coming in to help us really be good. So I think we're going to attack there first. After that, I don't know. There's a lot of targets, yet I don't want to try to bite off too much. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, how are you doing health-wise? You have quite a few ships that are ready to go, so you're definitely jumping in. Your gothics are a little banged up. I'm going to let you guys rest for right now. I'm going to bring in Admiral Spire and his fleet. I'm not going to bring Admiral Spire in and his fleet. I'm going to bring you guys over here and have you fully heal up. And we're going to end our turn. I thought Spire was ready to go. Okay, thankfully, no one's attacking. No invasions. That's good. Um, the Tau are moving. That was a little slow. So something's happening with the Tau. No, nothing. No one's attacking. No one's moving. Okay. So where do we go now? Yeah, definitely here. Um, who do we want to back you up? Yeah, definitely you. Uh, you have auger probes, which is what we need. And we just have a lot of overlords and a lot of Arm Armageddon. So the Armageddon's are going to hold the line while the overlords are going to try to sneak around the back and hit them from behind. Yeah, that's not going to work, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll keep you guys here. We're going to go up to launch. We're about even, so that's good. 
trying to reinforce the area with orbital structures. Do not let them fortify the position. Just okay. Ooh. Ooh, we want this. This would help us out a lot. Okay. And we're bringing everyone, apparently. Okay, cool. I'm okay. I'm totally okay with that. All right, if you guys are uh, enjoying today's video and you would like to see a lot more Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, be sure to smash and destroy that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. All right, here we go. This is going to be good. So Spire will hold the line while the other guys sneak around. All right. Oh, it's a take and hold. Um, of course it is. Where is there's there? There's one. Is there another one? Yep. Yeah, there's our best bet. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, come on. Here group three. You're all going to go together. You're going to go for a silent running. You lock on. Just gonna bring up the rear. You guys actually I'll put you on four. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna make a beeline up this way. Attack whoever comes near us. I'm just gonna hope they go this way. If they don't. We could then turn and start heading in that direction instead. Be kind of committing myself here. Uh, what is this? Overlord, Overlord. Okay, yeah. So you need to go with the Overlords here. Because when there was more, I was right. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's move. Understood. Your orders? Coordinates acknowledged. You guys go. Uh, let's set out an auger probe. Where are they? Well, there's a lot of them. Looks like most some of their fleets actually over there, which is good. I, I that actually works for us a lot. We wait your command. No fighters, so we're at the fight. This old fashioned way. We serve. Changing course. Let's go over here and just kind of wait. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're not that big of stations. We should be able to just literally drive by and make them explode. comes all their fighters. Ship ready. You have seized a strategic area. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Enemy sighted. Setting course. Pedals away. All right, Admiral. Someone's gonna have a bad day over there. Oh, enemy that's their uh, bridge. The that's enemy their has seized uh, a strategic area. Your orders. Nail him. Initiate emergency repairs. Enemy sighted. 
fine. Whatever this is, we can hit it. We can take it. Torpedoes out. We wait your command. I am Heading acknowledged. Ship ready. Well, they're not having a good day. Yeah, I'm not going to get him. We serve. We wait your Turn, command. Go away. Move away. Nothing like a good firing line. Watch. I Admiral. We serve. Enemy sighted. Your orders. Man, get out of our way. We're coming through. This, this the is enemy cinematic. has seized a strategic area. You have accumulated 25 centimeters. We wait your command. Engaging target. We serve. Ooh, that's a lot of rounds coming down range, my friend. You're not having a good day. Yeah, the thing has to be almost dead. Oh yeah, it's it's practically dead. I Admiral. Admiral Spire. Underway. We wait your command. Heading acknowledged. Your orders? Where is the enemy fleet? Behind us now. Okay. Ship ready. We're going towards this. Course engaged. And we're going to be moving quickly. You guys. We serve. Since you are quick, uh, I'm going to have you do a sneak around. All ahead, Full throttle. Full. And you're going to go mess with the enemy from <laughs> the back. Engaging engines. 
This is a gnarly fleet. Oh, this is this is awesome. We wait your command. I would totally shoot that. All right, Admiral. Ship ready. Enemy sighted. Underway. Enemy sighted. Ship ready. Setting course. Your orders? All of the you. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. That. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. The enemy has seized go. a strategic area. Honestly, that's okay. We have a huge lead right now, and I'm going for their... Whoa. We serve. Burn retros. Dude, you got caught way out of position. You're not having a good day. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. are great. I love this game. Visually, this game is just amazing. Alright, let's get back into this. Oh, yeah, they're following up behind. We serve. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Slowly picking away at these guys. All right. We wait your command. Beeline it, guys. Move. Ship ready. Aye, Admiral. Engaging engines. It's gone. Okay. Understood. Course engaged. We're going to line up for the final engagement. We wait your command. All right, Admiral. Fires out. Your orders? Yeah, it's gonna take him a minute. We wait your command. Your orders? Okay. Engines off. Burn retros. Look this way. We serve. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. Come on, guys, turn around, turn around. Aye, Admiral. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Go get him. That's one off. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Oh, yeah. Head on with those torpedoes. Go for it, buddy. We wait your command. Changing course. We serve. Ready. Oh, but 
Ship ready. All but you. Fire torpedoes. You have seized a strategic area. Okay, everybody move. Cruising speed set. Go. Your orders? Enemy sighted. Your orders? Enemy sighted. Yeah, you got too close there, homeboy. We wait your command. Setting course. Mutiny. Oh yeah, they're all fleeing. You got him. We serve. I admiral. I admiral. Understood. You know what? I'm gonna have everybody move as a group. Coordinates acknowledged. Heading acknowledged. We don't keep hitting each other. Ship ready. Stop. Yeah, you're kind of done. Initiate emergency repairs. Heading acknowledged. Underway. Your orders. We wait your command. Course that was probably engaged. Probably waste, but hey, at least you're coming towards him now. Enemy sighted. I am. All of you. We serve. Move your own risk. The enemy you are going to be moving away at full speed. Points. You have accumulated 75% of strategic points. Yep, we got this in the bag. Ship ready. Just a couple ships Ship left. Ready. Wait your command. Come on. Your orders. Go. Engaging engines. All ahead, full. We oh, he no has command. no engines, no turbo. Stop! Stop! Close to victory as strategic points. Oh, yeah, we are. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. We serve. Course engaged. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Yes, run into my torpedoes, please. Please. We got two. Fire. Engaging. The enemy is close to victory by strategic points. Yeah, no, they're they're not gonna win because we just got it. Because we just killed them all. Who cares about strategic victory when the enemy no longer is around? All right. 
Well, that was fun. Definitely like coming with two large Imperial Navy fleets and just saying, nah, I don't think so. And just plowing through them. So we did suffer a lot, but for the next three turns, everything is reduced by 50% of evolutionary cost. So we can really ramp up this place, get it online and rolling. I love it. That is going to help us out. Oh, yeah, I can already see it. This is going to help out a lot. I'm going to end the turn. Do I want to end the... Yes, I want to end the turn. They added a landmine. whoop de doo I'm, As long as they stay right there, I don't care. Ooh. Ooh. Do we fight Necron soon, maybe, possibly? I'd say yeah, because if they leave, okay, they leave, we can then get this. Yeah, no matter who wins this, we win this this sector. We might be fighting Necrons today, boys. So I'm just going to hit yes. Yeah, look at the money raise on this place. Cha Ching. And we still have enough to get us this. And that. Oh, I love this sector already. Okay, so I'm going to let the Necrons attack. Do I want them to attack? Right now, we got that too. Hey, it's extra money. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the Necrons do. Chaos are reinforcing. That's fine. Let them reinforce. I'm worried. About, I want to see how this fight goes. They did a lot to him. But. Oh. Oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Sarge has got a plan. So, we're bringing all Aspire. We're going to fight Necrons, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, we're fighting Necrons. Uh, we're bringing the Gothics. We are going to bring Admiral Spire. And if I can, there's a way. I don't remember. Remove Minefield. Guess what, boys? Now we're bringing everything to bear against you. Oh, you are so done. Oh, you're so done. Because now we have auger probes. So we can see the enemy. We can... This is going to be my first time fighting Necrons. I'm actually kind of nervous. Let's do it. I'm nervous. I, I know how strong they can be in the base game. So we'll see what's going to happen. We outnumber them, but that don't mean... And you always outnumber Necrons. If you're hurt, you are not coming. We don't need little guys. We have auger probes. Um, definitely going to need another... Uh, uh -huh. I mean, it's not bad. Have these guys go around and do some harassing. We have all of our gothics. Hell yeah, brother. And then we are bringing a couple of... Actually, we only have one Overlord, which is that guy. And then the rest are all Armageddons. Okay. Cool. What do we get bonus if we do? One action point. Okay. Cool. I like that. If we capture the back, we get an additional movement phase in the next turn. Not really, really we care about. I'm more worried about fighting Necrons. Long ago, before mankind was even a footnote in galactic history, the Necrons ruled the stars. But the march of time and grievous war forced them into hibernation. For 60 million years, they slumbered, 
Untold legions entombed in deathless slumber, waiting for the hour in which their rule would once more shape the galaxy. Now, at long last, that time has arrived. With the coming of Abaddon's Black Crusade, life stirs beneath dead worlds. The mad pharaoh Kefrek rouses the Neferu dynasty to war. Ships of living metal blacken the stars, immune to the perils of an uncaring void, harnessing technology far beyond mankind's grasp. These vessels bestride the stellar wastes of the gods of old, reuniting the sundered worlds of the Neferu in a single glorious purpose. But Kefrek's plans go deeper than mere reconquest. The expansion of Dominion is but one step along the path that will either see him master of all he surveys, or the worlds bordering the Eye of Terror reduced to ash. So yeah, Necrons! Awesome! I'm actually currently at the moment working on a Necron army for the tabletop game. Um, slowly, uh, on my days off, I slowly am assembling them, and I can't wait to actually have them fully finished. I don't play the tabletop very much. I like more to build the armies. And I'm, as I'm getting back into it, the Necrons, in my opinion, in my opinion, are the easiest to assemble and the easiest to paint. So, I, I just think it's a... Yeah, anyway... Enough about that stuff. All right, here we go. So, Spire and you guys. Let's throw them over there so we have them out of the way. Only three. Um, might as well keep you with Spire. Have you guys all be the main fighting force. You guys are gonna, 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 they're gonna be our flankers. You guys are just gonna flank around the back and try to capture that thing if we can. If not, I do not care. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So you're up front, or on the back, I mean, and you guys will be up front. Whoa, that was a lag. All right, let's spread out the fleet a little bit. Okay. Ship ready. Thruster routines active. Go around and engage, guys. We are ready to serve. Oh, that's right. I got Nova cannons. Woohoo! I love me some good Nova cannons. Changing course. Coordinates acknowledged. That's going to block. We might get some hits. Machine spirit appeased. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Yeah, their stuff is skip. Whoa, they jumped. Oh, I forgot to they can do the that. Plasma. Everything. Possible uproar. Enemy sighted. Oh, we got it. We Enemy got him. Damage teams begin repairs now. Enemy sighted.
Holy crap. I keep forgetting they could do that. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Um, you guys. Wait your command. Auger probe out. That out. That out. State your order. Start that up. Space this field. Not quite yet. Stop back here. Ah, they jump away from torpedoes! Time to hit the boost and get out of here. Engaging engines. Gothics, you just keep firing in the back. You're doing a good job. We do the rest. Targeting enemy vessel. Your orders? Uh, you guys switch to reload. Just unload your guns. Unload your guns. That wasn't so bad. I think I got them really good in the beginning with the Nova shot and the plasma. That took out quite a few of their support ships. I don't want to jinx it, but the developer is saying, hey, the Necrons are going to be the scariest things out there. Really? That, that kind of felt like a cakewalk, but then again, I have a feeling I'm going to eat my words later on, and I know he's going to be saying that in the comments. <laughs> Just wait. Then again, I did jump in here when it had just one fleet, not both fleets. So, yeah, I'm playing smarter, not harder. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> this is going to be so great. Uh, allows you to build space stations when the system reaches level three. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. Okay, in turn. I think it's about time we start bringing in the salamanders. We have enough resources. And if we did bring the salamanders, they're gonna be up here. They're gonna be kind of patrolling around at the home fleet. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, yes. Salamanders here. Yes. Good. On we go. Um, no. Salamanders. I kind of like the supercharged void shields. Yeah, because I want to turn the salamanders into... I'm going to get in your face really close, and we're just going to unload our guns until you die. The Imperial Fist... Uh, right now they are carriers but i'm going to be turning them into an artillery fleet because it kind of makes sense they're holding the line from afar and they're shooting from afar and they like their bolt guns and shooting from afar so makes sense kind of so i don't remember what the strike three cruiser does but we're going with this anyway so let's grab that what is the strike three cruiser what do you have for weapons actually is exactly what i wanted it's going to have guns for every range. 
No matter what you're coming, eventually we're going to be shooting you point blank range. Which is still good. But I also kind of like this. Literally gets up close and just deletes things. All really good options. Yeah, the Strike 3 Cruiser. I don't know. I, I think the Strike 1 Cruiser might be not only cheaper, I can get more onto the battlefield, but I can also keep air superiority, which is one thing most factions have out there that I have a problem with is their air superiority. Like Necrons and the Tau, their air superiority is no joke. So I actually kind of like this. Having them all just be this and go in. Same amount of health. Why not, right? I don't know. I'm going to leave this as it is for right now for this episode. Should we turn them into... Uh, should we ooh, turn them into... Should we have them be all nothing but like strike one cruisers where they have a carrier or a heavy launch bay, which I don't know the difference. I think it just launches more. Um, and also with the bombardment cannon and micros. Or should we keep it versatile no matter what what range and now that i say it out loud that actually kind of sounds better yeah i think that is better because no matter what the range they will be able to hit you and they're not going to care it's just the whole enemy air superiority thing is what's killing me okay you guys decide how the salamander should be should we go all in with guns or should we go with ca have carriers but they are salamanders and the reason I'm letting you guys decide, because at the moment, they're kind of in the background. They're they're going to be the, the support fleet for the Cadia system in case something invades. They go and take it out. They're not our offensive fleet right now. Which actually goes to the lore. They're not the offensive. They're going to be back protecting the civilians. Hey, I made it lore accurate. <laughs> so technically, they can fight with whatever they want, but they're staying to their, ac their lore accuracy. Okay, so three turns. What do we want to attack next? Um, Death World. Hive World might be nice, but that's the Eldar. How are we looking damage wise? Oh, we're fine. We can take on anything. But choices, choices, choices. Nope not happening because that is Tau and I don't feel like taking on Tau right now. Mining World would probably be good. You'd have to get this in order to get the benefit. You know what? I think we're going for this one. Let's do it. Oh no, the gothics are staying behind. I love my gothics. I kind of don't. I'm going to bring him in just so I can get the auger probe. Oh, he doesn't have an auger probe. He has something else. Equally, we're bringing him anyway because he has a good offensive ability to slow the enemy down. Let's do it. All right. Getting quite a few battles in today's episode. I'm loving it and enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. We take this world. It is a hive world, which not only is going to generate resources, but then we can take the next planet, which will, when fully upgraded, every system in the sector will get a bonus 13% to mining output. Holy crap. This sector is going to be just absolutely pumping out so many cool things. Um, are these 
these? What are these? Overlords, overlords. Yep, over, over, over. So we have quite a few overlords, actually. Since they're not really big on torpedoes, they're going to go around and hit them from the back. No, actually, I changed my mind. Oops. You too. You three, and you're four. So two, we're gonna come around here. We're gonna kinda do what we did last time. We're just gonna steamroll these guys. All right, let's go. We serve. Setting course. Aye, Admiral. Engaging drive. Okay, what do they got? Ah, oh, they're doing that again. That would probably be useful to have again. We wait your command. Setting course. Aye, Admiral. Underway. Engaging engines. Coordinates acknowledged. Course engaged. Launch interceptors. Interceptors engaging. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. Your orders? Torpedoes out. Machine spirit appeased. Come on, are we gonna get someone? Yeah, something. Got two somethings. Ship ready. We serve. Oh. Got to go to lock on. Hogger probe out. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Enemy sighted. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. Send the bombers. Star Hawks engaging. Engaging engines. Oh yeah, plasmas for the win. Uh, 
let's get you turning. You're going in the soft. wrong direction. Rouse the engines. Your orders? Damage team, begin repairs now! To serve the Omni Sire. No, no. Yes. Ship ready. <laughs> um, okay. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Damage teams, begin repairs now. We serve. Your orders? The Emperor! Machine spirit appeased. Thrust the routines around. active. We wait your command. We are ready to serve. Not hit each other. That would be Changing really, 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 really nice. You have seized a strategic area. Ready to launch another auger probe. Boy. We serve. You get out of here. Warp engines active. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. Enemy sighted. Disengaging. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Your order. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Calculating vectors. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Your orders? Receiving your order. We're not gonna be able to grab him, but we are gonna nail this guy. Yeah, goodbye. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. Come on, let's go. Enemy sighted. We serve. Really, guys, fight as one, not hit each other. Aye, Admiral. Enemy sight. 
sighted. I love lances for this reason. Look at all that. We serve. Vital systems did collapse. <gasps> Wait, what? No! We are ready to serve. No! Mechanicus vessel non-functional. Oh, I looked away. Okay, now I'm angry because that guy had one of the greatest abilities in the game. Unlimited Nova Shots. Understood. Ooh, I hate you, Chaos. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. That looks like a Necron beam coming out of it. Why is there a Necron ship inside his ship? What are these guys? What the hell? It's half Necron, half Chaos. That is just wrong on so many levels. Make it go away. Make it go away. Ready. We wait your command. And the ship that got really damaged, that was um, the one with the auger probe. So we don't have auger probe. Your orders? Shoot at you. You messed up. You killed our Mechanicus. You need to die. Changing course. We serve. We serve. Team, begin repairs now. Ship ready. Your orders? Heading acknowledged. We can't take much more. Our navigator will guide us out. Get out of here. No, you're done. Ship ready. Setting course. You have seized a strategic area. Keep you in the back. You're you're done for the fight. We serve. Oh. We wait your command. Target locked in. Engaging. Yeah, you just disappear. Your command. Engaging engines. Force engaged. The enemy has accumulated seventy five speed ahead. Points. Buddy. Aye, Admiral. Setting course. Engaging target. And we are just going over a little too long for this episode. We'll be in it here. Targeting shortly, enemy vessel. For the Emperor. You will accumulate. 
allocated 75% of strategic points. Turn, turn hard, turn hard. Understood. We're gonna hit him with some torpedoes. Acquiring new vector. Heading acknowledged. Ship lost. Course engaged. Oh. Well, that was painful, and it's actually it was mostly painful because we lost the Adeptus Mechanicus. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes open for another Mechanicus that has that same ability, but that's a rarity, and we might not ever see that again. Because he had the greatest ability, unlimited Nova Shots. All right, <clears throat> we will recover from that. I mean, we're doing good. We have a lot of resources. I mean, it, in the long run, in the overall strategic view, it, that was nothing. But personal level, that sucked. That really sucked. But that is going to have to be the end of today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy watching as I did as much as I did playing it. And if you guys have not already, check out my Discord. Links for that will be in the description down below. Over there, you guys can talk with me, hang out with me, and other YouTubers, and other gamers. It is awesome and loads of fun. Hopefully, I see you guys over there. And last but not least, I would like to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for going the extra mile to help support the channel. It really means a lot to me. Every dollar does not only help support the channel, but also get your name at the end of the video as a thank you. So until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys, and remember, have an awesome day.